Hello my lovelies, so this is Lizzie from Love From Lizzie and today I'm bringing you the February 2024 Love From Lizzie card kit. Just to give you a little update on how everything's progressing at Love From Lizzie HQ, um, we are completely up to date with all of our orders, all of our sale orders went out, thank you ever so much for that. I am feeling very much better after having pneumonia and pleurisy in December. So um, I'm really grateful for that. Although here in the UK, it is so cold. I appreciate the rest of the world has got some really chilly temperatures at the moment, but we're around minus four degrees. So I'm standing here in my hat and my scarf in my house with the heating raging and I'm still cold. Um, but that aside, um, we will be shipping the card kits out from the 1st of February and we will be cutting off any add-on orders for our subscribers on Monday the 29th at 9am Greenwich Mean Time. So if you're a subscriber, you do get to enjoy free add-on shipping. Um, you don't have to do anything other than log into your account, place your order. We will take care of the rest to make sure it's all in that box that comes winging its way out from the 1st of February. We do hope to have them all done within, shipped out within five working days and you will get a tracking notification because we only send everything tracked across the planet to make sure that it gets there nice and quickly and that you can follow it along its way. Um, I am going to start showing you this kit before I carry on chattering. But this is the Make-A-Wish kit. There's lots and lots of goodies. We've put it all in one bag. We do, where possible, try to save on the packaging that we use. But equally, we don't want to do that at the expense of um, the products being protected. Because as I say, some of these kits do quite literally go around to the other side of the world from us in Australia. So I'm just going to pull out the cardstock so that we can start off with the big ticket items. So each month I include five sheets of cardstock. Now this month I have put in five alcohol marker friendly sheets of American letter cardstock. So they're, it, they're all white and it will become apparent as to why um, I have chosen to keep the palette so simple for the cardstock. At this point, I will let you know, we have got a coloured cardstock bundle as an add-on available in case the coloured cardstock is something that you're really super keen on. But for the sake of um, this kit, white is going to be what I think works best. So, we have that. We have an A4 sheet of acetate. So, it's ever so slightly narrower than an American letter size and it's also a little touch longer. Um, so you do get actually the same amount of cardstock, or in acetate in this case, um, as you would an American letter, it's just in a slightly different format. So you get a whole sheet of that, which is great for your shaker cards, or um, if you're wanting to put a window, um, and then have something stuck in the middle so that it looks like it's floating, it's great for that. We're also including an American letter size sheet of our silver mirror board in matte finish. So it's not a normal mirror that you can uh, see your face in, but it does have this really lovely shine. So there's a sheet of that. The peel offs this month are our topaz glitter in the straight finish, which is new to us. And they're really lovely and simple to just peel up, obviously self-adhesive and you can pop them over a seam. And they are ever so slightly translucent. So if you pop them over something that has got a colour to it, it will just add that slightly twinged pale blue um, sparkly finish to it. But otherwise, if they're put over white, this is exactly how they look because the backer sheet for them is white. Next, we have some cards and envelopes. Um, we've done this um, because we've got just the plain white we've put some really nice pearlescent bits here so we have got a yellow pearlescent card and envelope we have got a really cute peach color and they're really nice and shiny I'm not sure if the camera's going to do it justice but they are pre-scored um, and you just lick them to stick them or we'll just use a sponge if you are um, conscious of spreading jams and such since COVID. Then we have this really lovely rose colour. 
and we have a green and then finally we have this it, it is orangey pale peach sort of shade so yeah, they're really nice pastel pearlescent but they're also great for die cutting from in case you just wanted to use the envelope elsewhere so yes you've, you've got the facility to make 10 card bases but you have an additional five plus the coordinating envelopes to go with if that's what you fancy next up i'm going to run you through the patterned paper now the patterned paper is slightly different this month in that it's not patterned it is our moon dust so it looks like glitter and it does have a slight texture to it but there is absolutely nothing that will come off um, and there are four different colorways and you get two of each sheet so you've got this really sort of like nice bluey purple that gradients into a pink there's two of those sheets and they are all single-sided so there's no need to choose between your favorites then we have this lovely mint going into this quite nice bright pink and we have a really lovely pale blue that goes into a really nice pale pink as well there are two of those and then we have this rainbow which starts off at sort of an orange color and ends up in a grass green and fades between yellow blue and pink along the way and there are two of each of those as well so super super sparkly lovely colorways next up i'm going to show you the stamp set now i had loads of fun with this one <laughs> so we've got this really cute little frog wearing a crown uh, and we have a sentiment saying sorry i forgot your birthday so these two little pair up lovely um, you have a really fancy looking castle which also could be doubled up to look a little bit like a cake I think it's, it's got that sort of cakey cake uh, feel to it <laughs> and you have a unicorn here she's super super cute and if you got the Liberty kit from us which was last year it was a mega pack for Independence Day um, she is very similar to the unicorn you'll find in in that mega pack and then we have other sentiments of make a wish which is the namesake of the kit hope your day is as magical as you are and you deserve royal treatment um, and then there's also four little four, sorry five little stars and twinkles and then there is a spray of a super tiny little stars and sprinkles so you can create really pretty backgrounds if you want to and this is one of the benefits of having all of that lovely alcohol marker friendly cardstock is that you can stamp and that you can color these if you want to um, and they will look they will look the business next up we have an emboss and cut folder now this is a fancy one um it's probably easiest for me to show you like this essentially um this is an embossing folder and what you can see in the reflection there is the design that will be embossed so you have this lovely floral design around the edge and you have a fairy sat on the wreath and there's a tiny little fairy up there too at the top so there's two fairies and then you've got this area which you can stamp or you can pop a piece of ephemera if you're wanting that to be the focal point of the card so but you have this piece which is removable um, and you can lay that inside here and what will happen is when you run that through your embossing machine it will actually cut this center part out so you have these tiny little flowers which will be cut whichever way so you can paper pa piece those in or you can pop another um, if you want to put a great, great big piece of the acetate behind the whole lot then you know, the sequins or the glitter will shake the whole way throughout um, but the, this can be either a window panel or not depending on whether or not you include that piece inside or not so there we go we have that we have got because of the window and the acetate we wanted to include some bits to have sparkling around in the background in case you wanted to make um, a shaker card or something similar and in here you've got silver and pink pieces of square confetti and there's also these really lovely clear pieces that just shine iridescent so they've got all the pinks and greens in there so there is a sample size bag of that 
Um, and there is also some glitter if you really want to go full hog. Um, it's silver glitter, again a sample size bag, just so that you can um, make your fairies super, super sparkly. To go with that, I've included some red score tape. Now, this is super, super sticky and it will come in a bag so that the edges don't stick to everything. Um, but what I enjoy doing is laying a line of this down on a card, spreading some glitter over the top, then burnishing it either with my bone fold or even my fingernail, um, and then tapping off and then you have this lovely line of glitter left. So that's really pretty and it's a really lovely narrow width. So you can be quite precise with how and where you have any glitter, if glitter is your bag. Next up, we have a ribbon bag. Now in here, there are five meters of ribbon. You've got this lovely mint green. You've got the baby blue, a baby pink, a yellow and a white. I won't pull them out because then I'll never get them back in. <laughs> um, and there are also five of these tiny iridescent bows they're largely clear although the outer edge uh, is white so they're great um, for adding little extras in and now we're going to have a look at the ephemera now I've taken this already out of the packet but this is all that you're going to get and in this ephemera pack you've got various blooms you've got dragons bows and then you've got these super cute fairies and these come in all different um, hair color and skin tone so you've got a really lovely variety you've also got this really cute unicorn who's ever so slightly larger than the stamp but what's great with the unicorn and with the frog and with the castle is that if you pop this piece on the front then you can just stamp in a single color on the inside and it just ties the inside to the outside of your card Got some really lovely large pieces um, of flowers, more fairy designs, and there are lots of different ways. Um, and there's three different designs of the fairies. As you can see, you've got the one with the little bun on the top, you've got the little pom-pom bunches, and you've also got a fairy with a really cute swaying a hair and a wand. Um, Let's just quickly flick through what you have here so that you've got an idea. But these dragons, again, they're all so cute. And perhaps now you can see why we kept the cardstock white, because it really allows the colours of the ephemera pieces to pop. But then also they work so well with the glitter paper. So as you can see, oodles and oodles of pieces of ephemera. There are still shots of this all at the end, so um, please don't worry if you're not if I'm moving too quickly. You can have a good look at the end, but look here's that super cute little frog. Beautiful with the little red lips and the red cheeks. More of the fairies, another unicorn. So you, uh, there are a couple um, of repeats throughout, so that you've got lots of different options in case you make one card and really like it, and you want to make a set. For your recipient as a gift but speaking of gifts i always enjoy making bits to my card that can be taken off and kept so there are two wooden fairies and as you can see by the size of my hand they're a really good size lovely on a card front and these are great for coloring with your inks with paints or even leaving as natural i mean you can color these in if you wanted to you could um draw on them with your colored pencils um, and these would also, because they've got the hole ready to go with a piece of the ribbon, you could turn these into tree ornaments um, for people at Christmas time. Um, or a keychain, perhaps, if you've got a very special key that leads to your magical garden shed where you keep all your crafting supplies. We've also got some gems. There are three different kinds this month. We have these large silver ones we have ones that are like flowers almost and these which are like moonstone because they look like they're glitter however it's just the way that they're faceted so they're really pretty we've also got a bag of stars and invisible thread now the invisible thread i'm really going to struggle with with the camera here but there is a meter of it and it's in the bag with the stars so that you don't think i've just popped an empty bag into your kit um, the reason we've put the invisible thread in is with the embossing folder if you cut an element out and you want to hang a flower or perhaps the little frog from within there you can use the inv invisible thread so that when the card is stood it will swing 
and that looks really pretty and also you can make um, them spin if you wind them up attach them at the top and bottom and wind and wind and wind then when the card is opened they will naturally spin so that's a really cute idea and last but by no means least we have the dies you get three this month um, and you have this really pretty castle a fairy and as you can see by the size in my hand they are really lovely and big and you've also got a sentiment saying make a wish so this is what they like look like but I've die cut them from one of the pieces of pattern paper which was sort of like purpley blue into the pink and this is the sentiment here make a wish you have the fairy and the castle so as you can see they're really very pretty and over that white really pop so that is the love from lizzie february 2024 make a wish card kit i really hope you've enjoyed it and i hope you're staying warm wherever you are um i'll put some still shots in now thank you ever so much for sticking with me till the end design team do already have their kits so they are already making a way and i've seen some of the projects already and they are absolutely stunning um i will pop the release video in now it should be live by the time you're here uh, until next time happy paper crafting Mwah. bye